Hey yo, Chixo here. Today we are going to show you guys how to do training cave. Not just anyway, with today's update we can actually do those battle missions and if we get all five stars we can also use skip tickets onto our um, training cave. So I will definitely advise you guys to actually finish this if you are not a fan of training cave. Of course training cave you can also just auto as well. But yeah, if you are basically new on this channel and you don't want to miss anything definitely make sure to subscribe or also join our discord channel and um, the plan is going to be we will just jump into the run you guys will see the team basically if we finish as well you will see the backline and stuff and yeah hopefully we're going to do well and let's go so we're going to go in with the first fight so um the missions i will just list them here um you guys will see the picture so using only red units for example um having enough health and stuff and also out cc'ing so what we're going to do is um i would say just taunting this is going to mitigate a lot of damage and then everything will be super easy. Um, I was using Levi just for fun. I think not everyone has Levi. Also, we are going to try to make it as free to play friendly as possible. So Levi, unfortunately, is not really free to play friendly, but you can replace Levi probably with anyone. It doesn't really matter. Um, because here, as you can see, um, she does take quite some damage, but with a Tamiya link, we should be okay, as, especially with her own passive. So um, basically, if you guys are not aware, her she herself he uh, she heals an in, insane amount she's almost full health again and um the reason for zeldos is the drain so um having a drain unit is super super helpful because yeah her ult will hit super hard and also it will heal and you don't really want that so what we're going to do is um the rain and i would say we just burn those cards it doesn't um uh, you shouldn't rush any ults because you shouldn't use any ults so, or one of the missions is going to be not to use ults so definitely um, don't matter or ults don't matter at all and um, try to just finish as fast as possible. We are using attack food right now. Um, I think attack food is going to be the probably the best because yeah the earlier you finish the faster it is and the better it is right. Hey Talia also as you can see we are streaming live on Twitch right now so definitely make sure to check it out. Here she's full health again, super super easy, and we got another drain, very very nice. But I think we can actually kill. I will I will take the risk. I think we should be able to kill here. Um, yeah, there's no way she's gonna survive, and that's it. We're going to move into the next now. Um, and yeah, so I think we should have all the missions. Let's see. Um, is it is it shown or somewhere? Because this is the first time I'm actually doing it. Yeah. We got all the missions and now we're going to move on to the next fight. So we are going to be in the next one. So um, we will list the missions again. And yeah, the reason for this team is we have to use uh, three ults. And I was thinking, okay, if I use Red Gotha and rank her up, she can actually help in rushing ult. And also if we are going to um, have her ult, she's going to heal. Like um, if you guys are not aware, her ult is actually a Retrovunate, which is going to heal for over i think it was two or three turns i think three turns which is really really insane and we get the ult immediately as well which is really really nice and um yeah just having that rank up immediate rank up onto her is really really helpful because her heal also a two star heal gives everyone ult gauge which is super helpful so what we're going to do now is um too bad that we can't get anyone's uh, or that we can't get um both ults because we can't get another merger, but yeah, for now we do this. And let's see. Yeah, don't worry, Scar. Don't worry. So, um, and now we are good to go, I would say. So, because here, as you can see, we do take a lot of damage, but the Rejuvenate is going to heal almost everyone to full health. Maybe I should have used Tamiel on her. Tamiel on her might have been a little bit better to have always max skill, but now we just ult here. Um, I would say we are going to do this and we are going to actually no we want to do some more damage so we do this we do this and we do this and he can't even ult us so um, no issues here nothing is going to happen to us the only thing you guys have to remember is he actually has two lives so basically the best would be if we get another single target of daddy very very good so now we're going to ult and then we double single target of daddy and that should first of all if we wouldn't be full health it would life steal. But as you can see, we have full health and we still have one more turn Retrovunate, which is just really, really awesome. And now we're just going to do this. And I'm not too sure if we're going to kill here immediately, but um, it should be enough with 
No, it's not enough yet. It's not enough yet. Oh, it is enough. Oh. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. And here, as you can see, um, we should have all the missions, right? Very sweet. Guys, this is the hardest stage. That's why I will um, show you guys the complete team with links. So um, I did a lot of tries already. So looks like this is going to be one of the best teams. Alioni, um, I'm not too sure if he's going to be the right choice, but he increases the attack related stats of um, what it's called of green units. So basically he's going to help us in healing better and stuff so yeah let's just see so what we're going to do for now is i would say here luckily he doesn't get the ult so sometimes he has the ult immediately if he does have the ult immediately you should go for the um estarosa ult but uh if he doesn't we can just do this for now and i would say if we are going to um stance with this if we're going to stance with this um or basically if you guys are not aware if we are going to taunt the last activated taunt is the taunt which is going to count so basically the single targets go onto him for now which is not gonna be any issue at all um because he can first of all counter and he can also lifesteal and um sigurd actually hits really really hard that's why i would advise you guys try to not take damage onto your alioni but um since we also have the list healing we should be fine as you can see with the ult cage food and merlin backline we also get the um ult of her immediately if we are just using one card plus that we can strip this away if we want to so he deals even less damage so we're definitely gonna stance and we need one more stance guys so um the thing is what we could also do is actually maybe smarter if we're going to do this we're going to stance and we're going to um get the ult of Estarosa because with the ult of Estarosa we get a free turn and um then we should be good to go if we get a list card it is but yeah here as you can see he hits super super hard even though um that alioni has a stance activated and um i think his relic decreases damage taken if i'm not wrong but here as you can see luckily we survived so we are okay um we are going to ult i would say we're gonna strip as well and we're gonna heal up and now we just pray oh wait this was four stances already? Guys. Am I am I bad at counting? How was that the four stance already? <laughs> what the Okay, um no clue guys, but yeah, just in case let me do this. Everyone will be full health. He doesn't have a second life, right? Yeah, okay, good. He doesn't have a second life. So we, we kill now. So yeah, um, I really don't know why um, the stance already counted as four because I'm pretty sure it was only three times. But yeah, um, well, at least we were able to finish it. So um, yeah, cool. So now we're coming to the fourth one and let's just see if we have all the missions. Wait, yeah, okay. We got them all and moving to the next one. Um, we're coming to the fourth stage. I still have ult gauge food because um, I didn't or oh, I forgot to change So let's see if it works. It should be okay. So um, the basic thing about this team is first of all Gallant He's going to taunt. So basically he's always getting attacked and Barn when he doesn't take damage He's going to decrease the attack related stats um, By 15% for every turn up to five times So I think if you guys have seen the how to get max in legend difficulties um, you guys know that we are using brawler barn a lot and yeah so now we're just going to um work on ults i would say we just um rush here because the thing is first of all we have to use uh, three ults and in order to use three ults we have to um basically not or barely deal any damage with the ults is number one and secondary as you can see he has drains so basically he has natural drains with his damage cards and um that's why it's the best to have it like him um maybe having someone who can dissolve might have been not that bad as well but let's just burn this card and i would say we are going to now work on his ult a little bit and next round we are going to um we are going to just rush the ult of Liz again after we're going to use the ult the cool thing about Liz is basically with her ult she's going to give us two ult gauges which is going to help us in rushing ult a little bit easier and i think we are getting the um barn ult already 
So what we're going to do is um, we have to we have to burn those a, a little bit. So uh, just to maximize our card draw, I will actually do this. The thing is, he removes one debuff every turn. So if we are lucky, he won't remove the attack related stat down. Then he would be hitting less hard. But let's see. Easy, guys. Easy, guys. That is how you play the game. So um, if you use two debuffs in one turn, there's a high potential or there's a high chance that it's not getting, um, what it's called, it's not getting cleansed off. But not like it matters too much. As you can see, our Gallant doesn't even die or is not even near to die. But here we just get the ult of um, Liz again so that we have our second ult and then we are fine. So I guess in my opinion, um, ult gauge put uh, food was the right decision because yeah, with ult gauge food it's um, very very easy to rush the ults decently fast and yeah so Gallant I was not aware of Gallant or why Gallant used here but yeah um, the taunt is definitely very very good so what we're going to do is we're going to ult we're going to ult and I hope this is gonna kill hey Hyrule how's going um, so definitely use the um, fast, uh, normal king Oh damn, it doesn't kill. Rip. Definitely use the normal king because um, with the normal king you actually have the faded link on. And yeah, so um, let me just double check if we got all the missions. So clear with a... Okay. Da, 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 da. Use a, and a fairy unit. Fairy unit from the backline works as well. Um, I wasn't aware of that until Twitch had told me. So much appreciate to that. And yeah, damn. The cards are terrible we have. But let's just do this. Okay, no, we should do the damage card first. So we do this, this, and then this. So let's see. I hope this kills. Then we would save a little bit of time. Okay, good. I think it kills. Sweet. So it better be having all the missions, guys. Um, because I'm not too sure. Imagine, imagine Twitch chat, chat trolled me and fairy from backline doesn't work. But okay. It worked. It worked, guys. <laughs> I will um, show you guys the whole team. Um, I decided to try to actually use my full DPS team. So here, this is going to be the missions. Um, not using any ults. So maybe it works. I'm not too sure. The thing is, we have elemental disadvantage. We don't have um, the full passive of Roxy. Main reason why we don't have that is basically because um, we have to have a giant when entering the battle, which is really, really annoying. Um, she doesn't have many mergers. So we're going to keep... We're going to keep the detonate card and next one we should be able to kill, I think. Um, that's decent amount of damage. And also, um, yeah, no ults. So that's why... Oh, damn. She hits like nothing. Maybe I shouldn't have used... Um, maybe I shouldn't have used her. Maybe another unit might have been better. I'm not too sure. But we got a lot of cards of hers to lifesteal. That is a good thing. Um, I think we can kill now. So let's let, let, let me just double check the, uh, the missions. So... Oh fuck. Clear with 144, okay, we have it. Clear with only HP, we have that. No ult, ult. Uh, okay, yeah, we got it. So we will do this. We'll do the... This will hit insanely hard. I think this will hit... Like, let's see how much this is already hitting because this is a 2-star. We could have probably pressed on auto this one for this one as well. And here, bam, bam. Okay, not as hard as I thought it would be. But with this team, two turns very, very fast. Um... Let me know in the comment section what you guys use for this because uh, not everyone has Brunhild and not everyone has Roxy as well, but uh, you can just replace them with other hard hitting um, damage dealers. Like for example, um, the green Escanor would work as well and uh, green Escanor fits very, very well with the green Monspeed. Here, as you can see, easy, all missions. On this one, we are using HP food. Um, so. Instead of Liz, if you guys don't have Liz, for example, a Skadi would work because Skadi basically um, decreases the attack of the enemy based on the debuffs you have. That's going to be really, really nice. And let me know in the comment section what team you guys used here. Um, the missions are kind of annoying with the cleanse, so that's why um, we are just going to do this for now, I would say. We can't attack seal, by the way, so um, she's a very, very great unit here because she has a two-turn attack seal with just a one star card which is like really really good and now um hopefully we're getting some debuffs so that we can cleanse a lot so very good as well that we have um those three cleanses already so basically now um we just wait to get um the attack seals a few more times so we do this for now 
um let's just merge here this card can heal so um i will actually keep it and we will move here because her ult will be super helpful when we finish to actually have full health if possible or basically above 30 percent and maybe draining would have been good um this is actually really really good because now um we can cleanse anyways um it's just unfortunate that we don't have another seal that is kind of annoying so um another attack seal would have been very nice but yeah let me just do this um i would say we can just burn this ult and we can do this yeah i think maybe i should have attacked with her to heal a bit and get the ult or oh, what the fuck is going on okay that was a big fat lag that was the first time i actually had a lag um on the pc version but i think we are still okay yeah getting the ult might have been really really good here we have another cleanse very very good very very nice and damn those cards hit really really hard so here as you can see the attack seal is really really helping us i say really way too much right um but yeah hey it's time for a drinking game so um very unfortunate that there's no debuff it is what it is it's okay though still no debuff well let's just attack seal we drain and i don't think i can attack with this but um we can just yeah moving this here so um hopefully he's gonna debuff us next round or she um she should be since uh she can't use any attack cards and also too bad we can't drain anymore um or can we can we drain let's try it out let's find out guys a one star cut let's merge here and if not i have to quit out i have to quit out <gasps> all planned guys all fucking planned <laughs> and here as you can see we get attack sealed um we can heal up with the ult and we can just finish very very sweet so this i think gives us even defense related stats at, uh, at two star so yeah um but we have enough um cleanses we just ult and let's just finish in style with this golden card so here as you can see nine debuffs Whew, pretty smooth i would say i mean yeah i did some few mistakes like definitely try to drain if she has the ult uh, um the ult did more damage than i expected but um yeah all in all very very nice we got this done and now only three stages left and here as you can see all missions so okay in this stage um the best way to do it would be with an emilia but i want to try to do it as free to play friendly as possible so we won't use emilia um and yeah so basically what we're going to do is we have to nullify three times and if we're going to attack seal and if we're going to um seal this i think it counts already i'm not too sure let's just see so um i've checked you we can attack it without any issues and sealing with this does this not count oh it counts it counts done so this is probably the best free to play friendly team to get this mission done and we can attack you again because we got some skillful card draw and he can't use cards again and um human from backline works so um yeah that's basically it the only problem is going to be when we have to face our own team because if she attacks it that's gonna better get annoying um it's at least free to play fr friendly it doesn't mean it's 100 percent free to play you know also a petrify works as well so a petrify would um usually um basically count as well immediately for the mission um so you could also use the blue draw like for example a lot of people recommended the blue draw with the blue draw we would have been able to also have a taunt which is going to tank um for example the ult if he does the ult and yeah here as you can see very very easy very very smooth um let me know in the comment section what you guys used hey we are coming to the second last one and um the problem about this team or about this thing is we must not debuff him or at least if we debuff him um he will heal he will cleanse and heal a lot so i would say in the first turn it's okay to burn it and we're gonna burn this as well so um i would not 100 percent advise you guys to bring gila because the problem about gila is basically um putting on debuffs is not the smartest thing but um she has a cleanse which is very nice and if she has a two star she actually has a heal just like king very very nice we have enough cleanses very very good and yeah we have to cleanse nine times which means it would be very very good to have more cleanse units basically um a two star of her would be very very nice as well but yeah so for now um that would be two hmm, kind of me to be honest 
But yeah, I would say what we're going to do is we do this. We AoE and we merge this for now. So we don't want to deal too much damage yet because we only have two cleansers and the cleanse mission is really, really annoying. I hope the ult, I don't know what the ult does, but I hope it debuffs us a lot because that would be really nice. Um, Since we can't do much at the moment, um, we do have a lot of cleansers though, but that's what I like. So we have one debuff. Um, the ult petrifies, that is good. That is really good. Um, so we have five debuffs if we're going to cleanse now. So we're definitely going to cleanse with her. And um, I would say for now I would just skip. Because we have all the cleanse cards we need in our hands. So all we need is right now just working on ults and um, getting the cleanse mission done. Very, very good. So this is six. This is seven. This is eight. We need one more debuff and we are done. So we can just get someone's ult. Um, I guess preferably her ult. She probably does the best. Um, too bad we can't get her ult, but it's okay. We do this and uh, we should... Yeah, I would just use this cleanse. We only need one uh, one cleanse anyways. Best would be though if we draw a marketed cleanse. Because with the marketed cleanse, we can actually... Um, guarantee to one shot, I think. Okay, we don't have that. Okay, here she's getting petrified. That is annoying. Too bad we used the heal already, but she didn't take more than 60% damage. So I think maybe keeping the heal might have been a little bit better, but that's okay. So um, we can just use the cleanse onto... Um, yeah, we just use the cleanse onto her. We can just ult and we deal more damage with Margaret. And also, of course, using more buffs means more stat increase with the Margaret um, passive. And it better be one-shotting. Okay, good. Very, very nice. So depending on your ult level, of course, you might not one-shot. If you don't one-shot, um, don't use the ult of um, the Gila because basically she puts on debuffs, which means we are going to heal her, but uh, heal the boss. But here, as you can see, all missions done. Very, very nice. And we are coming to the very last stage now. So this is going to be the very, very last stage. So we have to use three golden cards. And basically, if you do have Shin and Gotha, definitely use those. And also, they have to be green. So this is the optimal team, basically. Because um, if we are going to attack twice with Shin, we just need to draw one more Shin card. And if we draw another Shin card, he has a um, rank up. I do not fucking know why my PC version is um, so laggy at the moment. It is what it is. But yeah, basically, what we're going to do now is um, hopefully we get another Shin card. The thing is, he also has delete. So basically, even if we draw a Shin card, there's a chance that that card will be gone. So when he does damage, he deletes a card. As long as he doesn't delete the second Shin card as well. Okay, we are fine. Because now we can just use this Shin card. We can use this rank up. And our whole hand is golden. The only issue is if he is going to um, delete the golden cards. So I think, can we patience? I wonder if we can patience because the thing is, if we can patience um, his normal damage cards, then he won't be able to do anything. So um, this is our first golden card. And um, let's see, why not attack food? Should I have used resistance food or what? Not like it matters too much, I guess. Doesn't matter. Okay, rip. One golden card gun. Okay, good. No golden card gun. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> it's okay though. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, we can get another golden card easily. Okay, what we need is another Shin card or rank up. Okay, we got both and we still had this anyways. I agree on that. I deal way too much damage, but we are okay. Come on. Why do you delete those cards? It's okay though. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, um, we can just rank up ourselves. Or we could use a Shin card, but I want um, the maximum damage with ult. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. That's basically it with all the missions. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, and of course, I really hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, let me know in the comment section which stage you guys think 
was the hardest in my opinion i personally think the secret one was the hardest i definitely struggled the most on the secret one also um yeah so here as you can see we got everything done so yeah guys that's basically it guys that's basically it for the video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this or um i also really hope it was helpful and yeah definitely let me know in the comment section what stage you guys think was the hardest in my opinion the Sigurd one was the hardest and then basically of course it's kind of still annoying that we can't skip ticket the mirror matches but yeah um i really hope you guys are able to beat everything because the thing is um from what i heard is if you beat the missions in level one two and three you can't skip ticket level four so um yeah that's basically it guys thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now.